Sergeant, over there. You got the bread? You got the ice? Okay. Thanks, and uh, regards from Uncle Sam. <laughs> In other international news, King Stefan of Mongrovia is dead. The king, a member of one of the few ruling royal families still in power in Europe, was found dead today in his bath. Although the king has been known to suffer from cancer for the past three years, Alice's spokesman said that the cause of death is still uncertain and a full investigation is underway. Since the tragic plane accident only last year, killing Prince Victor and Queen Juliana, Princess Raleen, the king's only surviving child, is in direct line to inherit the throne of her small country. At this moment, Princess Raleen is aboard her private jet, rushing home from the Far East, where she's been on tour. The princess is expected to arrive in Mongolia tomorrow to attend her father's funeral and prepare for her coronation. Right-wing Palestinian guerrillas claim a responsibility for a bomb that killed... Do we have anyone on the plane? Yes, the Black Cobra. Ah, yes, the Black Cobra. Excellent. Then the game is about to begin. Bring the queen to the castle. Hong Kong Control, Hong Kong Control. This is Alpha Zulu Romeo declaring an emergency. We have engine trouble and request priority landing. Roger, Alpha Zulu Romeo. What is your position? 85 miles southeast of the outer marker. Roger, Alpha Zulu Romeo. Radar contact. You are cleared to the outer marker. Descend to 2,000 feet. You will be number one for landing. Runway 31. That's a Roger. Over. You must be Mr. Leon, the security chief. What's wrong with the plane? Is the princess all right? Yes, Princess Rawlene will be down in a second, Mr. Ambassador. Listen, I suspect the plane had been sabotaged. I want a full investigation. I want it thoroughly checked out by reliable mechanics, and I want it ready to fly by tomorrow. I also want police surveillance at the man's residence. This is the address. The princess and her party will be staying there until tomorrow. Have you finished, Mr. Leon? I've booked the best suites in Hong Kong at a moment's notice. And now you are here to give me orders? Do you know who you're talking to? Raleen, my dear princess, how are you? I was so worried when I heard your plane had to emergency land. I am fine, dear Nikolai. How pleasant it is to see you again. I've made arrangements to stay with a friend. Has Max given you my instructions? Yes, yes. Will you give Max your home phone number so we can contact you when we need you? I want four of your men to come with us in the other car and stay with us for the night.
Eva in this car with the princess. Dick, Chuck, you and your men take that car. We'll call you when we get there. And don't forget to fix the plane by tomorrow. It's fate that brought you to Hong Kong to see me. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about your father. But you'd written me that he was very sick for some time. Yes, he was in constant pain, so I think it is really a blessing in disguise. Secure the grounds. Over. Oh, I'm sure it's God's will. Come up to the house and we'll have a... Here comes Richard now. How are you, Your Highness? <laughs> no see in a long time. Hello, Richard. You haven't changed a bit. Let's cut out this Highness business, shall we? But how can I, Princess? <laughs> well, I have just received some incredible cocaine from Thailand. Perhaps Your Highness would like to get even higher later on. Not tonight, Richard. Why don't we continue our conversation inside? Just take a seat. Oh, it looks so different than before. Do you like it? I sure do. Now I must perform some introductions. This is Max, my security chief, and my secretary, Eva. She just joined us recently. And this? is Ilana Mann, one of my closest and dearest friends. We were in college together, along with her brother, Richard. You can call me Rich. I am, you know. <laughs> Don't take any notice of my brother. He's crazy. Nice to meet you, Ava. Nice to meet you. Will your men need anything special? Oh, no. They'll be prowling all night. Just some hot coffee simmering in the kitchen somewhere would be all right. You have been much too paranoid. Max, you know what we Chinese say. Beware when trying to avoid stepping on the tail of the dragon, lest you trip on the claw of the phoenix and fall into a massage parlor, which does not accept American Express. Oh, Richard, you're about as Chinese as a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you know he once wanted to be a nightclub comedian, but he was a flop. <laughs> Even though you own the club? <laughs> <laughs> How was I to know that? It was only Japanese who went there. I never go to those kind of places. If you'll excuse me, I'll prepare the room. Yeah, I'll check on my men. Is it possible to see the floor plan of the house? Yes, certainly. I'll give you one later. Mei Chun, would you please lead them to the north wing? Hey, man. Be careful. And now that your nightclub career is over, just what are you going to do with yourself? It's a very good question. Lately, I've been lending my talents to the world of sculpture. And I'll become quite a critic, too. Just show me your bust. <gasps> I'll give you a critique. I think you probably had an overdose of Richard for one night. Let me take you to your room. Okay. You know what? Now I'm going to have to get a brass plaque that says Queen Raleigh slept here. Oh, it may be funny to you, old friend, but I'm terrified of becoming queen. Oh, come now. It can't be that hard. Just wave your hand at people and cut a few ribbons. I hope you are not in the influence of your brother Richard. You know it's much more than that. And I haven't been trained for any of it. It was always supposed to be my brother Victor. Everything he did was designed to help him when he became king. But then when he died in that plane crash last year... Oh, well. Well, just don't worry about it. You'll be okay when the time comes. Hey, by the way, remember what they used to call you in school? The Virgin Queen. Oh, Ilana, you certainly have a good memory for trivial matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, tell me. Are you still one? Yes, and you're the only one in the world who knows. <laughs> Your bath is ready now, Highness. Okay. 
Well, in that case, I should leave you to your bath and a good night's sleep. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good, good night, night, Eva. Good night, Princess. Good night, Eva. Who is it? Max. Your Highness, sorry to disturb you. I just called the ambassador. He says your plane should be ready by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay. I'll be prowling around the hallways for a while. So if you need anything, I'll be close by. Thank you. Good night. has been kidnapped. I was in Eva's room. Looks like they got her too. What'll we do now, Max? Call in the police. Call the ambassador. Tell him what's happened. And tell him we won't need that plane tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. Looking fine there. Mm. Charles three. 
Well, how are we doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that damn phone. Poof. No, wait. Don't answer. Hmm. Hello? No, I'm sorry. We don't have sergeants here. We're only interested in privates. Hey, Jack, this guy's a creep. It's for you. Oh? Who is it? I don't know. Jack, Sergeant. Sergeant, this What's is matter? trouble. Nothing but trouble. Listen, don't you know I'm on vacation here? Why don't you leave me alone? That's one of the secrets of my success, Sergeant. Your vacation's over. We found ourselves in a bit of deep water. Deep water? Good idea. You see, girls, it's easy to stay away from trouble. You have to think fast. Oh, well, that's easy for you to say. That was my phone. Oh, come on. Excuse me, please. The drinks are ready. Okay, thank you, Chan. That's all for this afternoon. I've prepared some fortune cookies for you. Tastes very good. Now, one for Miss Davis. Thanks. One for the beautiful lady. Thank you. And one for this gentleman. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. That sneaky Chan. Mine says, Give honorable servants a raise, and your house will prosper. <laughs> <laughs> Some fortune. Oh, look, mine says you'll meet a tall, handsome man who'll make you happy. Is that a prediction for tonight? Well, I don't know. You may be right. <laughs> Let's see. Your trouble is your business, 2 p.m. on Golden Pond. Oh. Maybe. That guy's not going to be me. Ah, trouble. Sergeant, you are late as usual. You're lucky that I came at all. Stop bitching. Sit down and pay attention. This woman, Princess Raleen of Mongrovia, was kidnapped last night in Hong Kong from the home of her friends. Elena Mann and her brother Richard. The security chief of the Princess Max Leon is a suspect, but we know nothing for certain. So what does this kidnapping have to do with us? Well, Mongrovia has a huge deposit of chromium oxide, which is essential in the production of the highest grade stainless steel in the world. King Stephen, God rest his soul, was about to sign a multi-billion dollar deal with us before he died. But unfortunately... So it's the Reds. They want the ore, so they kidnap the princess. Makes sense. Don't be such a smart ass. I haven't finished yet. They're only our prime suspects. Stainless steel is essential in the construction of nuclear power plants, especially the new generation of fast breeder reactors. So we cannot allow that chrome ore to fall in the wrong hands. So you want me to get the princess back, right? I'm afraid so, Sergeant. Now look at this next slide carefully. Contact our Southeast Asian branch in Hong Kong. Code name, Dragon Force. Contact them through a man named Ah Chu at this shop. How do you pronounce that? I wouldn't even begin to try. You pick up your plane ticket from my secretary. You're on the next flight out. Good luck. Stainless steel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Achoo! You call me? Are you Achoo? No. You are right the first time. My name is Achoo. What do you want? I'm Jack Sargent. I was supposed to contact you. You Jack Sargent? Ah, tell me secret password. What? There is no password. That is correct password. Come with me. Jack Sargent, follow me. Hurry, hurry. Come in. This is the special weapons department. Need anything tricky? I have wonderful things. I don't know. What do you have? Let me show you. How about this? What is it? It's a miracle. Atomic bomb. Blows up whole city. Poof! Just like that. No, I don't think so. How about sweatshirt? T-shirt? Yes. Very tricky. Bulletproof. See? Very good. Impact fiber. Metal threads. Also machine washable. And comes in four colors. Uh, maybe some other time, okay? Too bad. Okay, how about this? Look at it. A yo-yo. Nah. <laughs> Very sneaky yo-yo. See? Yuri yo-yo. Also have cars, boats, helicopters, rocket ships. But supposed to save those for that double nothing guy from England. In fact, he's coming here next week. Very good customer. Are you sure you don't want anything? No, I'm supposed to meet Dragon Force here. Not here. You meet tomorrow at Tiptoe Forest. Tiptoe Forest? Yes. Very bad place. You have to walk on tiptoe all the time. Who is this Dragon Force? Where do I find these people? This is Tao Lung. He is the head of the Dragon Force. You'll meet him there tomorrow. Here is the guidebook with tiptoe forest marked in. Also shows girly bars. Sure you don't want anything? Tissue? Uh, I'll give you a 30% discount. No. No thanks. Not today. You can always send a bill to Dragon Force, can't you? Okay, bye-bye. It's you again. You are merely wasting your time. I told you I will not make deals with terrorists. Princess, we're not terrorists. All we want is justice. Yes, by committing more injustice. I cannot endorse that. Had you wanted justice, ordinary forms of communication would suffice. If the Soviet Union can't obtain your chrome ore, the space development program has to be cut back. You know they're willing to pay for it. Double or triple the price. You can use it to develop your other industries. Money is not the problem. They tried to talk sensibly to your father for years. You know how anti-Soviet he was. He just won't listen. And neither will I. Surely there must be some way we can talk sensibly. Sensibly? Don't you think it is a bit late for that? People could have been killed when that plane was sabotaged. People could have been killed when you abducted me. No, I will not talk to killers. Maybe you won't. But I'm not so sure about your secretary either. We've got her too, you know. Why don't you give it to me, Mr. Sly, huh? For just a few hours. And I bet she would even beg us to tell her what to do. <clears throat> Ain't that right, Virgin Queen, huh? <laughs> you filthy bastard! Take it over, Princess. Like it or not, you're absolutely under our control.
Now, what's a nice girl like you doing alone in a place like this? Oh, do you play the flute as well? Sword? No play.
I am Tao Long. In Chinese, it means the head of the dragon. Dragon? Dragon Force? Are you responsible for that menagerie that attacked me this morning? Your attack on a poor guy just now is hardly open, Mr. Sergeant. Cut the crap and tell me what is going on. You know, someone could have gotten killed here this morning. You Chinese sure have a weird sense of humor. First you send some girl at me with a flute. After that, then some kabuki samurai jumps down on top of me. And then some goddamn lions jump out from behind the bushes. What the hell is happening to me here? Mr. Sergeant, you cut this crap out and listen to me. You come to Hong Kong, not by my invitation. Your government requested my force to assist you. I agreed only on the condition that you pass the initiation test of the Dragon Force and join the Brotherhood. If you do not... Have I passed then? Not if I say no. I guess you want to try me out as well. Yes, but first meet... I am the monk. They call me Kamikashi. I'm from Japan. I'm Su Ling. For a foreigner, your Kung Fu isn't bad at all. I think you'll be perfect in helping us. Su Lim. Mr. Sergeant has not joined us yet, but let us settle this right now. This way, please. Mr. Sergeant, try one of these weapons. Staff is fine. What are you going to use? Nothing, Mr. Sergeant. You are going to give us a demonstration. Okay, if you do the same later. Very well. of these weapons. This staff is fine. What are you going to use? Nothing, Mr. Sergeant. You are going to give us a demonstration. Okay, if you do the same later. Very well.
是忍，事不生事，自然无事。平心守心，不欺心，何等放心！一不积财，二不积怨，睡也安然，走也方便。When did you come? I come from the east. When did you leave? When the east was red. Why did you come? I bring you a fresh soldier, iron-hearted and valiant. Did you come by foot or by boat? I came by both. How many corners did you pass when walking? And how many beaches did you pass by boat? The mountains were so high, I could not see the corners. The waters were so deep, I could not see any beaches. Which is harder, the sword or your neck? My neck. Silver needle brings blood from the finger. Do not reveal our secrets to others. If any secret is disclosed, blood will be shed from the five holes of the body. Welcome to Dragon Force. It's the next bay. Police is keeping it such a secret. I mean the house where the man and Max Hardy are hiding out. But my information can't be wrong. My men spotted the girl in Stanley Market about half an hour ago. Let's split up and find them. Yeah. Are you a Lana man? But I'm afraid I don't know you. Oh, come on. I have to talk to you about the kidnapping. Where are your brother and Max? I'm not supposed to talk about that to reporters. Wait, I'm not a reporter. <laughs> Have you seen Alana? No, I... Come hey, on! Hey. Move! Out of the way! me in the market. They chased us. You fool. I suppose you let them right here. But I got rid of them. Shit. You too. 
Get up on the roof. And take the rifles. Hey, don't shoot until I give you the signal. Elana, Richard, get inside the house, call the police. I'll stop them. Take care. I'm on your side. My name is Jack Sargent, and I was sent from the United States to help find the princess. Are you sure? Look for Alana and Richard. I'll go with Max. I don't know. I'm looking for him. I was right behind him and then... Max! Ah! Ninja Surikan. The poison is deadly. Get to Taolong. Quick! Are you hurt? Stand back, everyone. What's that? Your bag of tricks? Don't knock. Tao Lung is a Si Fu, a master. Ah, I see. So I can see through the problem. I believe I prefer the disease to the cure. Are we going to have snake stew for dinner? Shut up!
I'm still kicking. Do you know that you have been unconscious for a long time? Really? Oh, I have no idea. I'm feeling weak. Where am I? Now we are on the floating hospital. Talung said you should be okay. It took two days for the poison to dissipate. Elana, you know, I've been around a long time, but nothing ever prepared me for this. I feel so weird. What is so weird about this? Well, the ninja, this place, cured by a snake bite, everything, and you. Me? Wait a minute. Are you saying that I'm a part of your weird experience? Well, I'm thinking, now that I know what it feels like to be kissed by a cobra, it might not be a bad idea to find out what it feels like to be kissed by you. I'm sure it stings like hell. Well, I doubt it. Wait, until you get well. You wait here. Mr. Talong, how are you? Very well, thank you. Let me introduce Su Lin. How do you do? So, Mr. Taolong, I hear you want a favor. It is not wise to believe everything you hear, Mr. Lee. No. It is that I want to do you a favor. What favor? I want to offer you a singer to entertain in a nightclub. Miss Su Lin here. Surely you're not stooping to do your girl a favor. That doesn't sound like you, Mr. Taolong. Oh, but he is Mr. Lee. She's got a good voice. Maybe you want to audition her later on. With her looks, it isn't necessary to do an audition. Sulim, when do you want to start? Tonight? <laughs> Are you getting horny waiting for me? <laughs> well. Hey, let's get some more girls for me. How about Miss Susie Wong? Susie Wong? Are you Susie Wong? <laughs> no, I'm Su Lim. Why haven't I seen you before? You're so beautiful. Maybe you don't know me, but I know you. Yeah. Sure. Who hasn't heard of Mr. Yang around here? The other girls are talking about you all the time. Yang, the big spender. And besides, you are so muscular. You sure know how to please a man. But it's your job anyway. So come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Have a drink. Mm. Oops, I think I swallowed an olive seed. Never mind, doesn't matter. Come on, sweetie. I need to go now. What? So soon? Uh, I understand what you mean. I need to change. I'll come alone. Wait for me. Jeannie, check please. You. Hi, Ted. Bye-bye. Get out. 
Let me take you home. Wait, we back got him or what? Did you win you got? Hey, we'll go to your place. No, I have a big family. I'll take you to a secret place I know. No, I'll get off right here. Hi. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, hey, put me down! Are I... you crazy? Hey! 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 Sue Lim. Do you think she can handle this? Don't judge a person by her looks. Su Lim is really a tigress. So now, he really is a salty water man. What's that? It's a Chinese translation of a dirty old man. Hey guys, enjoy my performance? Yes. How much? Thirty dollars. Keep the change. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Good morning, Mr. Yang. Are you all right? Uh, Leave me alone. Hey, what's happened to you? Princess was given an injection, and she'll be unconscious for a few hours. We'll start now. Where's Yang? Why isn't he here? He should be back soon. I'll take a look. You've been, you fool. You're late and wet. How long? Hey, listen. You have to help in the operation on the princess. But I know nothing about acupuncture. Come along. What's that? Acupuncture on the princess? Shh. Maybe there will be more. How did the general learn of the parrot technique? I never heard. He spent over 20 years here studying. That's why he's a general and you're an idiot. Paratechnique. You know what it is? I'll explain later. Let's go. Like hypnotism, but much more powerful, the victim is forced by the placement of needles to do anything his controlling voice tells her to. Then they will control the princess? But it will not be totally effective when the last needle is placed. There may be time yet.
General Marushka, Yang is back. Who has the transmitter? Sly, go back through. Yes. You do the same. It's you. Yang, you fool. Sly, search him. Find the transmitter. That's not my fault. <laughs> Take him away. Me. Leave me alone. Let's continue. As you wish. Kowloon. Kowloon. Kowloon, we're not receiving the signal anymore. I think they must have found the transmitter. Over. That's Roger. Over. Damn. They must have begun to administer the needles by now. We've got to get there. Oh, boy. <laughs> General. <laughs> General Marushka, this was in Yang's stomach. You know what this is? I don't know, General. I swear, I don't know. Where have you been? I just saved a drowning girl, General. Sure. Sure, Yang. Prepare my helicopter. Yes, General. Yes. General. We must begin the operation immediately. We will take care of Yang later. <laughs> I'm ready. Turn off the light.
General, I have finished the operation. the princess. Ninja! We may be having some unexpected visitors. You and your evil brother can receive them with the courtesy they deserve. You will obey my voice from now on, Princess Rawlene. I will obey. Good, Princess. Doctor, take out the needles and put on her clothes. Eva, what's happening? General, there's fighting outside. We'd better go. Please hurry. <coughs> Eva, I'm sorry we had to do this, but we must make it look real. You wait here until you're rescued by the Dragon Force. Report your position with this. They still think you are on their side. Yes, General. You will hear from me. Good, Eva. Good. Sly, let's leave. Eva, I'm sorry. the princess. You know what to do. Out the back. General, this Let's way. go. What's wrong? Sly, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Sly. Help me. Push me.
fool, help me! Help me, you fool! Yeah! Thank you. That's very nice. Princess, look at these women around you. They are chosen from different parts of the world. Not only are they loyal, obedient, but they also hold the karate championship titles of one sort or another. And tonight, after dinner, they will perform for you. Some more wine, Yang? No, uh, thank you. I've done it, Sly. I've done it. Now I can invite those Dragon Force people and see what they can do to my latest creation. <laughs> I'm really worried about what they're going to do to the princess. They separated us. I didn't know about the operation until there was nothing I could do to stop it. It was terrible. Calm down, Eva. Just think, have you ever heard them mention another headquarters? I would have told you if I had. Oh, tell Loom, I'm so scared. Please, Eva, calm down. You know, the princess is my best friend. Please help me. I must find out where she is. Eva, you've had quite enough for one day. I think you'd better get some rest. Don't worry about the princess. I think I know what to do. It's me, Sulim. I'm coming. Oh, I just wanted to see if you're feeling better. Oh, Sulim, I'm quite all right, thanks. I think I've tired myself worrying too much about the princess. Oh, come on, cheer up. It's not the end of the world. Hey, do you have a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. Oh, hmm. What's this? It's a transmitter. Tai Long! Tai Long! Get me back! Uh, uh. Open the door! So Lim, open the door! Lim, open the door! No! No! Uh. Tai Long! Look! It's the ninja again. Oh. You're cordially invited to a lunch party on my island tomorrow. A boat will pick you up at the Queen's Pier noon. General Nikolai Marushka. Are we going? Don't you see? 
It's the best chance to get them all. Where did you go? Where were you? To get something to drink. Everyone is sure nervous tonight. What's going on around here? I think it's the invitation for tomorrow from Marushka. And how are you going to prepare for it? By celebrating life. Welcome to Marushka Island, Mr. Taolong, Mr. Sergeant. I'm afraid we have to search you. Search them. Nothing. Please don't misunderstand me. We don't mean to be rude or unfriendly, but it's the rule of the island that no guests on it are allowed to carry arms. We have our arms and legs. We need no other weapons. Please follow me. <laughs> Mr. Taolong, Mr. Sergeant, I am so glad that you have come. And of course, the ever so beautiful Miss Su Lim. Please be seated. But to what do we owe the honor of this invitation? We have a special guest of honor today. You have not seen this person for a long time, but I'm sure you're dying to meet her. Here she is. Here she is. Please be seated, my princess. There's something wrong with the princess. Of course, the princess needs no introduction. But to answer your question, Mr. Talon, this is a farewell party. Then the princess is leaving? Yes, and I with her. You see, I will be accompanying the princess back to our country. Isn't that right, princess? Yes, that is correct. Nikolai will become my new minister of trade, handling all my country's foreign business. A position suitable to my talents, don't you think? So, Mr. Talon, the game is over, and I've won, 
and I hope there are no hard feelings. So just sit back and relax. Enjoy the good food and the entertainment, which we'll put on later. Mr. Tao Lung, Mr. Sergeant, I've been waiting for you for a long time. It's not so easy to get back the princess. Look behind you!
Take care of the ninja. is ready. Good.
This whole thing has been a nightmare to me. Max and Ava came here with me, and now they're both dead. Hey, Richard, how come you're so quiet today? You've hardly said anything. Raleen, Mr. Taolong. Princess, I just came here to say goodbye. I wish you luck. Thank you so much, Mr. Taldum. I would still be a zombie if it hadn't been for you and your skill with acupuncture. It's my pleasure. You must be Jack Sargent. That's Princess. It is nice meeting you finally. I want to thank you, all of you, and Taldum, especially Jack Sargent. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you again, everybody, especially Dragon Force. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. Take care. Talung, your strength and knowledge has been an inspiration to me. I want to thank you. Don't get heavy.